Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to yet another update on Koti. Um, and uh, first of all, I was wrong, all right? Because what I said yesterday, um, there is a way I could spin this and, and tell you that I was still right, um, which I'll try to do. Um, but no, in general, what I said is that yesterday it looked most likely that um, I think the price was was right here or so um, at uh, at twenty two and a half cents. And what I said is that all right, well, we we made a we we made a strong top right here around twenty five cents. Right now, what we're seeing, this is what I said yesterday. All right, so so I'm just reiterating that. Um, right now, what we're seeing is that the open interest is dropping down massively. So it's most likely that after losing momentum like this, um, we're going to have some some sort of a drop. That's what I said. Um, but in the end, uh, I also did say that we could have one last spike. So that way I could still say that I was right uh, by telling you that this is just one last spike and that right now we're going to drop down. But uh, but I won't do that. I mean, I, I did not expect this this bullish momentum. All right. Uh, what we saw in general is that there, there were just a lot of, in, in this period of time, there was just a, just a lot of buy orders right here. And you can see that, that a lot of orders were sold off here. But that almost seems to that almost seems to be just a lot of uh, liquidations. That all the liquidations were rinsed out because you can, you can see the CVD going up here. Um, but all right, right now, I mean, the the situation is still is still the same, and that is that there is some sort of a divergence here. All right, you can see that the price is going up while the open interest is going down, which usually in the market circumstances right now are obviously different. But usually this is still bearish. All right, so I'm I'm pretty cautious on Koti because if you look at the technicals I would still I would say it's still very bullish especially if, if, if you look at the four hour time frame we have respected the 0 0.236 fib so far we've only had bullish breakouts there, uh, there there's not that strong of a resistance level right here 30 cents is the main target and there's not that much in between the price right now and that level uh, so technically I would say Koti is still very bullish now, fundamentally, though, like I said, that divergence is pretty scary. Um, so that in combination with the fact that, which I will probably not be able to look up, which is a shame. Um, no, I might be able to look it up. It, uh, it works a little bit better right now. Uh, but that together with the fact that Goti right now is a pretty over leveraged, which it should show up here. But I mean, we're not going to wait for it. Uh, but right now, the market in general is pretty over leveraged, Goti as well. So that means that at some point of time, we're going to get a big spike down. All right. I'm not sure if I can show you for the for the last time that happened. Maybe I can. I'm not sure how leveraged Goti was back then. But here you can see the 3rd of January, Goti had a big move down from like seven and a half cents down to 5.6 cents. Something like this is coming again. Um, so that in combination with that divergence leads me to believe that you should be careful for Koti. I think both scenarios are possible. We're now stuck in this level between 25 cents uh, and our main support at 23 cents. Personally, I would just wait for some sort of a breakout. All right. I think that's the best thing to best thing to do because I could make an argument for Koti continuing up here. Uh, and that would be a good argument, but I could also make, it make a very strong argument as to whether it's more likely we're going to get a big drop. So wait for that breakout. Wait for Koti to break above 25 cents. If it breaks above 25 cents, it's most likely that we'll move up to that next price target at 30 cents. However, if Koti breaks down below this level right here at 23 cents, um, it's probably over because that bearish breakout in, in combination with the divergence and with the current state of the markets, um, it's pretty bad. And like I said, with a big flush, we could actually drop down quite a lot. Uh, so be careful for that. I think it's um, I think it's best to prepare for this scenario. But that's just me, all right? Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments uh, as well. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.